inspiration inspires me to create. What I want to talk about or what I want to explain here is like here I was inspired to do this painting. I was inspired by this scene. So, but being inspired is not enough. So I had to drive myself. I went in the studio and I made myself work. I made myself create. As I started to create, I started to discover things. I did discover things like the bush, the color combination. That inspired me further. That created another inspiration, which sent me off to this painting. In this painting, I was very inspired further by the yellows and the golden and the violets and the texture and the line work in the trees, which I found really interesting. It was like a, a calligraphy in the environment, like a, somebody's having writing words across the environment in a strange language. I thought that was really fascinating. That inspired me further. But what actually happened at this one is I started to think about how when I'd been out in the bush sketching and taking photographs and looking and that, I had noticed other people there. People were also looking and enjoying and being inspired by the environment. And I started to think about people in the environment and then I had this strange idea. I thought, oh, people are like flowers. Ah. And, and I should put them <laughs> in my paintings. So in this one, I put some people wandering around looking in the bush. And that, I was really excited about this because it suddenly... Entered, entered a whole new element. It, it, it allowed the human to be in the environment where we kind of think the, the human is harming the environment. In here, this, these people are revering the environment like they're in a church or something. They're, they're, it's a religious experience to a lot of us. So from that, that, in, that got me thinking even further. I did some other ones with people in them, like this one here, but then I started to think about the fauna. And that led me on to working with kangaroos and that, because when I was in that area, some kangaroos had bolted past me. I was fascinated by them, always am. Now, my problem here was that I set myself, is how can I paint a kangaroo in the environment so it looks like it's part of the environment? I'm doing a textural painting. How am I going to do that? I, if I did it, it could be an illustration. It may not work. So I struggled with this one. I struggled. I actually really liked this painting. That led on... That solved problems and then that led on to another idea and then another idea and then finally back down here I did one where I had the, the kangaroos grazing in the morning light and then one of them has become aware of these coloured things moving in the distance and these are the humans. Now this is just simply what happens. Inspiration, get to work, push yourself to work. This is what I do, I push myself to work and that engenders further inspiration and I just keep pushing myself to work and it goes on and on like that. That's it.